Hello, hello. Welcome to the Peter Parker Show. How's it going, guys? Welcome back. Finally, finally we got some sun. It's been a long time since I've seen the sun in L.A. It's been raining so much here. To the point where I just can barely ride my bike. But today, it was a miracle. A winter miracle in L.A. It stopped raining for a brief three days. Three days with no rain and then it's going to rain again. So, a few things have changed since then. Such as the conversion I've done with my bike. Changed a couple things on my bike, actually. Since the last time we spoke. You can see that the screen is completely different from the last one I had. That's the only visual one you can see right now. I'm a little bummed out because uh, I did enjoy the... um, the other screen because it was a little bit brighter this one when the sun hits is kind of hard to see which is kind of a bummer but you know it's okay could be worse i want to share with you guys the progress and the changes on the bike the 3000 watts motor and and controller were just too much it was just too too much for this uh for this bike and Don't get me wrong, I liked the torque. I thought the torque was nice. I liked the way that, um, how fast it was. Even though it was a little scary, you know, um, on level five. But I still enjoyed it. I enjoyed it a lot. And I wish I could have kept it. The problem was that the, um, it was too much. It was too fast. My bike was going like 60, like 50 something. It was just too much. Let's just see how much, let's see how fast I can go up this super steep hill. Going uh, 22, still 22, 23. I mean, it's not bad. It's better than the super. It goes like uh, 10 miles or like 15. Super slow. But anyway, um, sorry, I keep getting distracted. Just wanted to talk to you guys. So the bike is a little bit different now. We have a different screen um, and we also have a different controller now. Um, the motor is pretty much the same looking as the three 3000 watt, but um, now it's a 2000 watt and the controller's in here again. I still haven't done any cable management since the last time we talked, um, but this is the new controller. It's much smaller than the leather one. Um, and like I, like I was saying earlier, don't get me wrong, I do like the, the 3000 watt controller motor, but I just thought it was a little too dangerous. Um, in case you guys want to know what um, controller it was, because I got a lot of um, people uh, commenting they wanted to know, this is what the controller is. Uh, I believe the other one I had before was a Subaton, um, but this is not a Subaton. Um, and uh, yeah. It's just a much tinier controller. I could have put it underneath the seat, but I uh, ended up not doing that because it's been raining so much that I just wanted to play it safe and just have it in here instead. Um, Still have the little battery pack for my horn and my lights and my blinkers and blah, 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 blah. Uh, So the same setup as before. I just swapped the uh, 2000 watt with the 3000 watt um, kit, conversion kit. So the bike is pretty much the same as as you guys saw it last time. Hasn't changed at all in look and design. Um, but like I said earlier, I am planning on eventually putting the the controller under the seat. Um, I also had to fix the blinkers a little bit because they're falling off. So I had to glue them on um, and position them a little bit better. I also ended up changing the rotor, the rear rotor to the one like in the front there so there's still maguras they're still really nice high quality ones um but they're much thinner and as you can see here there is some discoloring going on and that was because i was riding this when it was rubbing really badly it was rubbing so badly you could hear in the previous video how how much rubbing there was going on and that was with the other um the other rotor the much thicker one so I ended up switching the rotor and it made a little bit less noise with this one, but it was still rubbing quite a bit. And in fact, it was rubbing so much that I could smell 
the pads burning out. It was really bad, guys. Um, so I thought there was something wrong about that. Like, I know that because of the of the way that the uh, piston is laying on the on the dropout, it you cannot avoid rubbing. But I th I knew there was some sort of way to fix that. So I talked to a buddy of mine uh, who's a mechanic, and he basically helped me align the uh, caliper and position it in a more centered place. And now it doesn't rub anymore, and it doesn't smell, and it doesn't discolor the rotor. Um, but yeah, this, this discoloring is literally just from like two miles of riding it. Like that's how bad it was. It was really bad. Really, really bad. So, so yeah, that's, that's a change. That's, those are the changes I've done. Let me tell you the pros about changing it to the 2000 watt. Now, instead of going, you know, 60 or 55 or whatever, I'm going at a decent speed. I'm going 40... 47 miles top speed but that's because i'm 200 pounds so if you're if you're more than uh, 200 if sorry if you're less than 200 pounds like if you weigh 180 170 160 you can probably go 50 52 miles on this bike easily easily so if you still want to do the 2k conversion you still can and you still go fast enough um but honestly with the way that this bike is I wouldn't recommend going any faster than um, than 50. I think this bike needs the suspension if you want to go a little bit faster. Because what happens is if, if you hit a pothole and you're going, I don't know, let's say you're going, uh, geez, you're going 60. As soon as you hit that pothole, your ass is going to bounce off of the of the seat. And most likely you'll land on it or you won't. And you don't want to find out if you will or not. That is not a, ga a gamble or a bet you want to be on. So I think it's much safer now that I have the um, a much smaller controller and motor. It also weighs less. Uh, weighs so much less. It actually weighs the same as the stock, uh, the stock Super 73. Um, so yeah, go ahead. So it weighs the same, so you can lift it up as much as you can with the stock one, which is kind of nice, actually, because you can, like, you can, you know, you can move it around easily. You don't have to, like, struggle, like, with the uh, 3,000, 4,000 watt motors, which are super heavy. Another thing that's nice that it, because it's not so heavy, you have a more, you have more stability and you feel like, the frame is not gonna crack. Like, it's gonna be all right. You know what I mean? Like, because there's so much less weight on the bike, it's much easier to maneuver, like the like the stock. And you feel like it's, it's right, it's the right weight. It's like perfectly balanced with the bike, if that makes any sense. I'm honestly just going in circles here. I don't even know where I'm going right now. I was trying to find like a good spot to talk to you guys, but then I ended up just riding around neighborhoods randomly. I kind of wanted to do a speed test to show you guys how fast I could go. So maybe I can take one of these super busy streets. I'm just a little worried how fast. Ah, f it, let's do it. All right, we're gonna go on the super busy street, see how fast we can go. Top speed. Of course, I'm gonna head a light now. I'm going like 36 right now in less than five seconds. Uh, ironically, the um, Santa Monica is like one of the craziest uh, roads to be on because people go super fast here, but the speed limit here is 30, which is so stupid. Nobody in their right mind would go 30 on this. And the reason why is because it's not like, it's not a bad idea. I think 30 is great, but it's unrealistic and super unrealistic for, um, for Angelino, super unrealistic. So everybody here goes like 60, 50. They do whatever the f they want. So now we're going uh, top speed here. We're going uh, 41 miles, 42, 43, going 43, top speed. I was reaching 44, but some stuff going on up here. So I don't want to go too fast.
And I uh, hope I don't get hit by a car because people are crossing. This is the, the worst crosswalk, man. And the least safe crosswalk. Yeah, this is a bad street to be on, honestly. But I'm just trying to show you guys how fast I can go and how I can keep up with traffic now. I missed you guys. I hope you guys have been good. I really miss posting. I miss talking to you guys in the comments. I miss just, you know, nerding out and talking about bikes. It's been a long time. Um, I'm gonna find some more time to do that with you guys and talk to you guys a little bit more and post more videos. Just been so busy with work and I'm trying to figure out a time where I can just um, use my free time to post more. So stay tuned, it's gonna happen very soon. Even though it's kind of sketchy to ride so fast, um, it is, the, the brake and power of the Maguras are really great. The brake and power of the Maguras are really great. Um, it really stops, stops you really well. So I'm very happy that I changed to Maguras. I thought that was a good choice. And shout out to Ali for doing that for me. Okay, I gotta concentrate here, guys. A little risky here. Another thing I don't like about the uh, the brake light that I have is that when I press the brakes, it doesn't like flash or get or get brighter or or like blink or anything like that. So when I when I brake, I'm hoping that the people behind know that I'm braking because um, otherwise I'm gonna get somebody's gonna crash against me. Look at this super unnecessary super Tesla charger. So stupid. So unnecessary. The reason why I say it's unnecessary is because there's so many Teslas in LA that park in the uh, regular EV charging ports. So most of the time those supercharging posts are just empty because nobody uses them. Because they'd rather do the free one. Alright, let's see if we can go fast again. 42. Thirty-nine, forty-one. I have a lot of wind too, so. Yeah, there's a lot of wind right now. I'm gonna join these guys, actually. These moto guys. A little bit faster than me, not by much. Zigzags. I'll make a left or right here. All right, that was fun. I like I like uh, riding with other motorcycles or uh, bikes. It makes me feel like uh, I'm more protected. I feel like when I'm riding with a group, I always feel protected, whether they're bikes or motorcycles. It's like we're looking out for each other in a way, you know? Which is the reason why I like riding with the boys because I always feel safer riding with the boys than riding by myself. I also haven't done a uh, range test on the bike. I still have to do that, I haven't done that yet. 
but it is kind of hard to kind of pinpoint exactly how much range I have because the battery kind of like fluctuates in range. If you hit the throttle, um, if, it, if you hit the throttle, like if you floor it, um, it will like the battery will lower itself, and then when you stop, it'll it'll go back to 100%. <clears throat> so it's kind of hard to know if it's actually showing the the range. You know what I'm saying? It's like if I floor it, it goes like halfway, and then when I don't floor it, it goes up to 100%. And when you keep doing that for a little while, every time you, you press down the throttle, uh, it will lower like to like a quarter or like half or maybe less than a quarter. So it's kind of hard to tell like what is the battery range I have. I know a lot of people like use the voltage to know how much. I'm not really good about, I'm not really good with the numbers and the voltage. Um, I know Mr. Central Driver uses voltage and that's a very accurate way of knowing how much you have, but I don't know. I just feel like um, I like to know that I'm, I'm a simple guy. I like to know with the bars, you know, with the bars of battery. So if that makes any sense, I'm wearing my motorcycle gear right now. So I'm wearing my pants, I'm wearing my boots, I'm wearing my, uh, my jacket, I'm wearing all my padded stuff. Just because now I'm going so fast, I, I kind of want to be protected just in case. And of course, I'm wearing my helmet. Yeah, but the bike feels great, man. I, I love it. I Ever since uh, Ali changed the bike to a faster bike, it just sparked this like new love in my bike. Um, and it's not like I didn't like my stock, my stock uh, Super. I, I loved it. Um, in fact, I had really good range on it. I had like 60 miles of range, which is super nice for a Super 73. I mean, no, no Super 73 has, like, more than 30 miles of range, you know what I mean? Like, that's a rare thing. So, I was super happy about that. But now that I'm going faster, I am losing a lot of range, unfortunately. And, you know, it's not bad. Like, I, I, still, I still like, you know, the, the torque it has and the speed it has over the range. Because I'm not going as far anymore to go to, go to places. But I do miss... I miss you know, not having like range anxiety. Because range anxiety, you know, once you know you can make 60, 60 miles of range, you're fine. You you don't have to worry about anything. Then once it goes to 30, man, those 30 miles pass quick. And you really don't realize how fast you went through those 30 miles. But that's like one of the biggest fears I have of just like being stuck with this bike and having to walk it all the way home. This is another road where uh, where people go fast. So I gotta be I gotta be careful here. People would just go so fast here, and they'll go right in front of you. So I'm trying to be careful here, guys. They just pull right out. They don't even look. <clears throat> You know what's interesting? Every time I see a motorcyclist, they always wave at me. Because they think I'm one of them, right? They might see the pedals and whatever, but they most of the time they, they say hi. But every time I say hi to another Super 73, they just straight up ignore me. <clears throat> every single time. They just they just straight up ignore me. Um, so it's just interesting, you know? It's interesting to see that the motorcycle community respects me more than the than the Super 73 community does. And that's not true. I mean, obviously, you guys respect me and all that. But I'm saying, like, random strangers that don't know me, the Rise Super 73s, they just ignore me straight up. Just I just like a little polite wave, like, hi, what's up? We got Supers, you know? But nothing. All right, thank you so much, guys, for watching. Uh, like and subscribe. It helps me out a lot. It helps me be bigger, stronger, faster. And if you guys want to get 
uh, the conversion like me there's a link down in the description below along with uh, chai batteries and with uh, accessories on my bike too which I'll put down in, in the description below uh, thank you so much guys for watching and I'll see you on the next one peace out <laughs>